Another thing also is, as you can start to see, that my material layer is going to start to get a little more complex. We're starting to get that spaghetti ification essentially of our surface. So if we want to make things a little bit more optimized, what we could do is we can actually add in what are called reroute nodes. Reroute nodes are these guys. So you can grab here, you can reroute or like make it so that the wires don't cross as much, but you can actually convert this guy into a named reroute node. So I can call this guy my dirt mask. And I can give it a little color. Make him kind of round like so. And then I can have my reroute node. And of course I can rename this guy too. Convert to a named reroute. And I'll call this one my damage. So what's cool about this is, you know, think of these guys like they're ethernet cables in your house. You know, you probably don't want to have like a hundred foot ethernet cable running through your house, like all willy nilly, it kind of gets a little messy. So what we can do is these guys act almost like Wi-Fi. So that if I grab a reroute node here, I can just leave them as they are. So then I can find where the wires connect, like here. And I can grab a reroute node, just like the ones here. I can grab my dirt one because this is for my dirt color tint map. And I can do the same thing for my damage one too. So I can go here, grab my damage one. So instead of having the wires all crisscross like this, I can have them be very kind of isolated in the sense that I can like all these guys and move them just a little bit further away so they're, you know, not all crisscrossing as much. 